The Pope is encouraging Catholics to alleviate the crisis in Syria, where all inhabitants are suffering, but around 13 of its 17 million people are experiencing the dramatic consequences of the war in an even more powerful sense. The nuncio and the country's bishops have come to explain the current situation to humanitarian organizations in Rome. The people cannot deal with this anymore. More than 80 percent of the country lives in poverty and without work. Their factories, hospitals, schools, markets, humanitarian convoys have all been bombed. Their human rights have been bombarded. They have reached their limit. Enough is enough. What we want is peace and reconstruction. Money comes later when you have peace and respect for the dignity of the human person. From Rome, the Pope firmly denounces the atrocities of war and violence, and on the ground, Catholic humanitarian organizations are not left idle. In Syria and Iraq, between 2015 and the first half of 2016, they have mobilized more than $400 million. The death toll due to war and violence in these two countries is unclear, but it is estimated that since 2011, more than 300,000 people have died. The Pope said those who cause death shall be accountable with their conscience before God. They can respond with violence, but in the end, each side must bear the weight of his conscience and will have to bear responsibility. The Holy See, however, is also reinforcing its strategy for peace in the Middle East in two main fields, the diplomatic and the humanitarian. On a politically diplomatic and religious level, the Vatican is promoting informal meetings and is also supporting UN initiatives. They are also promoting humanitarian meetings like this one organized by the department Cor Unum. There, are hierarchy and Catholic humanitarian organizations that work in Syria and Iraq exchanged information, strengthened their collaboration and established new guidelines.